someone didn't want to clean up their mess or good morning it is saturday so i just woke up and i'm just going to drink some water and kind of do my devotions and wake up then i'm going to work out and then i'm gonna quickly rush and do some meal prepping i'm gonna head to the city with my friend slash cousin and we're just going to run some errands and just hang out with her and her little man so it's gonna be a busy but really fun day and i'm really excited starting this day a little bit earlier than usual on a saturday just to make sure i'm ready and it's gonna be a good day <laughs> Stupid car. I don't know what I'm doing. What's still telling me it's restricted? I'm stuck. So we're golfing at this really nice golf course that I don't think I've ever been to, and Ken's hasn't been here in years. But it's filled with like massive houses and they're all so beautiful. I don't know, I just love looking at homes. And I'm with my sister, my brother-in-law, Ken. Good day, mate. We are just out here golfing today with Tiger Woods. It's a great day for golfing. They're over here doing something. Something to do with golfing. I don't know. It's quite sunshine and rainy. Great forecast for today. Hydration is key. <laughs> it's true. Man, he took me another ball. Doesn't matter which one. Oh no. Oh no, he says. It is so beautiful outside. The only thing is, there's a ton of mosquitoes out, and I'm getting eaten alive. Well, here comes trouble. <laughs> Love you, Kate. Bye. Love you, Kate. Bye. Now Ken's can't get in. He was making a comment that she parked so close that he can't squeeze in, so she did that on purpose. <laughs> Good job, Joe. <laughs> We're back home now from golfing. I also have my specialist appointment tomorrow. I feel a little bit uneasy. Is that a good word to say? I'm kind of nervous. I don't really know what to expect. I don't know. I feel like I'm either going to be very overwhelmed because a lot of things are going to have to happen or I'm just not really going to get any answers and the proper help that I need. I know that God is with me and he gives us peace and joy in the midst of hardships so I should probably head to bed. Also I should probably water my succulents. You know what the sad thing is? They're dying. Well not all of them because I don't have natural sunlight in my house and I don't know what to do with it. I don't know. It doesn't look super great. You can see that like this and just these little um, sprouts are coming out of from the leaves falling off the plants and then I just stuck them back in the dirt and they're regrowing so that's really cool. But yeah, I totally need to water them. Glad I remembered. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I am now home from a day out at my specialist appointment which really did not go well, I guess you could say. I had a lot of tears today. I kind of feel like either route that I go, it's just messy and risky and still unknown. I feel overwhelmed. I'm still trying to absorb everything. And when I think about it, I just get really emotional. So it's been kind of a tough day, but I did get to hang out with 
um, a friend, also a cousin. And that was really, really nice and refreshing. Ken's is out playing softball. I was gonna go to that, but I just didn't have enough time to make supper and leave. I just thought it would be nice and relaxing to just watch my show, eat a donut. I don't even think I talked about these in my vlogs before. I've talked about it on Instagram before. But it's a company by two young guys that have created healthy donuts and they're really low in sugar. It's a really nice low carb snack. It's just a nice clean treat and they taste so good. It's called Sweet Nutrition Donut and you support local and small businesses, which they have grown a lot actually in the last year. If you guys are in Canada, check them out. There's so many stores Canada wide. I'll have to give you guys more of an update of what's going on because it's just a lot to take in and a lot to explain and it's just too much to say on here right now. So I'll hopefully update you guys soon. I'll just quickly show you guys what the container looks like. There's only one gram of sugar and 11 grams of protein, which is awesome. Based with almond flour, they are obviously gluten-free. And of course, can't forget to turn on the diffuser. <laughs> Seriously love this thing. Where are we gonna go, yep, Ollie? We have to here. There we go. We picked up a cute hitchhiker. Are we gonna go to grandma's? just got home from my in-laws for supper. Everyone had pizza and my mother-in-law graciously cooked me a chicken breast and some veggies. Now we're just gonna go for a quick walk before bed and hopefully catch sunrise or the sun setting, I guess I should say. Kind of missed the sunset but it was still super beautiful there's a few lakes kind of by our house one in particular that we always go to but now they're developing a new one kind of excited about that a new change and it looks really nice just kind of wanted to document it and in the future i would like to be able to show my children like look how far it's come just even looking back on a lot of the development around here it was like farmland 15 20 years ago and now it's all businesses and it's just growing like crazy kind of wanted to document it and kind of see what it will look like in the future
That was really hard. It was supposed to target your upper body, but you're also doing a lot of full body movements through the entire thing. So you're really engaging your core the entire time. And then I kicked it up a notch and did 10 minutes of abs. It was a good workout today. I wasn't in a whole ton of pain, which was great because I've had a lot of pressure and pain in my lower stomach. The only thing that I really struggled with is that I'm really tired. I was up at 5 a.m. Couldn't sleep. I was in a lot of pain. Nothing was comfortable. Dealing with insomnia and all of that fun stuff. Needless to say, I am really tired. I can't really remember anything. It's just kind of been a rough day. I feel like I say that a lot. There's a lot of good moments and memories made in the last while, but it's also just been super, super hard. And I don't know, I'm trying to be positive but it's kind of hard. I have joy through these trials, but it's also really painful and that's just the way life is right now. I'm, I'm glad I got that workout in. It feels much better. I am less irritated and grumpy. Now my husband probably wants to come home now that I'm done working out. <laughs> I obviously just showered. Anyways, I just made a snack. I have some organic blueberries and organic strawberries for my snack, kind of been my go-to lately. And usually I pair it up with almond butter, but I was just kind of snacking on it by the teaspoon. <laughs> and I'm just gonna head out now. I'm gonna kind of eat this on the go. I'm gonna head to my mom's and just kind of pop in and say hi. I just had to run out anyways, so I thought I would do that and then come home and make supper. For today's workout, it actually went pretty well. I know lately I've been talking about bad days and struggling and it's true. I also don't want it to just look like I am, I don't know, always having bad days, which technically is kind of true lately. But I also want to be positive, also mention the good things. And so I had a good leg workout today. I was able to lift heavy and it was just great. I haven't been able to do that as often as I would have liked to. I just got home from my mom's and I'm about to make supper. I have some chicken breasts that I'm going to bake in the oven with some Epicure spice. I just put in an order and got the beef and steak spice, which I love for beef. And I have never tried this. It is called oven roast. So I think I'm gonna try and season that with my chicken. I don't know if I have chocolate in my teeth. I'm kind of just snacking on chocolate while I make supper because I'm hungry. <laughs> What's new? My current situation is this. I'll show you. I always get my knife stuck when I'm trying to cut a huge butternut squash or spaghetti squash, which is what I'm making today. And I'm just going to bake that in the oven. Some chicken, some salad, and that's going to be supper tonight. And then in true Mennonite style, I'll make some mashed potatoes and cream gravy for my husband. It's keeping it pretty Pretty simple tonight. Now to try to cut this and get this knife unstuck. Here's an update. I got it open. I say this is why I train, so I can cut things like this or carry all my bags of groceries in one load. You just scrape out the seeds, put on some olive oil, some salt and pepper, and you're good to go. That supper was so good and that spice that I got from Epicure was amazing. Anyways, I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.